back to Science Rocks. Our partnerships with USF are immense, and one of our most recent events involves these solar panels behind me. The university is committed to alternative energy sources as evidence of their popular Flip the Switch program on campus that recently got a big charge with a million dollar Duke Energy SunSense grant, which funded a new 100 kilowatt solar system. The freestanding canopy solar system sits atop the campus's 5th Ave parking garage. The 318 panels occupy about 7,100 square feet and can produce enough energy to power an electric car for over 50,000 miles. 80 students from Gulf Beaches, High Point, and Gulfport Elementary Schools are invited to take part in the event. And students rotate between presentations at Duke Energy Bucket Truck, Solar Array Storage Battery, with the solar panels that we'll see later on the roof, and electric hybrid car stations. Adam, you are here as Gulf Beach's STEM Academy student. What have you experienced so far? Well, I saw a solar-powered car, and what it's generated what they said by a solar power or a solar panel up on the roof on the seventh floor. And I also saw the bucket over there, mm -hmm. and what and yeah, and there's electrical cars. So how does this, what you're experiencing today, connect to what you do in your STEM Academy? Well, in my STEM, we made solar-powered robots. And basically, you just put them in the sun and they go by themselves, kind of like what they do with these cars. You're going to hold this, all right? It's weird. It's weird. Can you hold that and hold that? All right, we're all going to go to the front of the car. When we're experiencing content here that's above their level, but what do you, how are your students interacting with this content today? Uh, so far today, it seems like they have understood everything pretty well. I think they are most fascinated with the solar car or with the, um, the hybrid cars and the battery powered cars the most. So. And what are you going to take back to your classroom? I know the STEM academies are over, but you're going to continue this conversation with them. What are some talking points that you want to discuss? Uh, just continue making sure they understand alternative energy uses and how the fossil fuels are going to be running out and how I've been telling my class that it's kind of going to be their generation's issue to deal with because previous generations really haven't done as much with solar energy or alternative uses as we should have. But I guess what I would take back is um, just about them seeing the, the hybrid vehicle over here and understanding that the hybrids are like the way of the future, but the future is really going to be the solar. So that's the reason why this one takes a little bit longer because of the small power source. It's only 120 volts. When you get into those, Jen Winter is the coordinator of sustainability at USF St. Pete. Jen, why is it so important to align what you're doing here at USF St. Pete to what we're doing in the Pinellas County Schools STEM Academies? Well, we're, thank you for being here. We're really glad that the um, STEM Academy is out today. Uh, what we're hoping is that one day the STEM students will come here and study here. You know, we have a great university here and we have a great STEM program. We have our own battery that you can see over here. We have uh, a solar array, the largest renewable energy um, in St. Pete. So we're hoping that the students, you know, continue with their studies at the STEM Academies in Pinellas County and that they'll one day be able to transition here uh, into our university system. Yes, so this whole project started off with a grant for Duke Energy. Uh, we applied for the SunSense Post-Secondary Schools grant uh, last year. We received the grant in May 2014, um, and it took about, it took a while to um, plan the project. It was about six months of planning, and then the actual install only took about two weeks. Uh, then Duke Energy actually came back and said, how do we feel about battery storage so that we can research that too? So we added a battery, uh, then we added electric vehicle charging stations. So today's event is a ribbon cutting for the entire system to finally, you know, turn it on. And that's what we're having students out for. David Vasquez is a student intern in the Office of Sustainability. He helped create the website and video of the project. And it's interesting to hear that environmental causes were not always his first passion. Where did you get your passion for sustainability? Um, honestly, I wanted to be a dentist for the longest time, and then uh, I watched a, a documentary that kind of uh, questioned the way I think and showed me the real environmental issues that we have going on today. And then 
I found out about alternative energy and solar energy, geothermal and wind energy, and I fell in love instantly. Uh, I found I didn't know where I was going to go to university at that point, so I checked out what programs USF SP had, and they have an environmental science and uh, policy program. So I said, why not in my own hometown? I've lived here for 15 years. I've gone to elementary, middle, high school, and now university here. So I thought, why not end it off here? David also helps Duke Energy State President Alex Glenn and USF Regional Chancellor flip the switch on the 100 kilowatt solar array. So how did it feel when they flipped the switch and everything turned on? It was really cool because they can connect that switch to the the solar solar panel and I think that's really cool and there's a cloud above us so I also know that downstairs there's going to be a sound because of they're they're storing their so, their power right now. I'm using solar power and transferring it into this helicopter thing. USF St. Pete also provides solar energy experiments for the students, and overall, it was a day to remember. So, Miss Windsor, you have attended many of our STEM Academy events, and today's event was just spectacular. What's something that stood out in your mind? Oh my goodness, I can't even begin. I learned so much from um, the storing electrical energy downstairs and. Um, the Tesla automobile and the cars that ran on just pure um, electricity versus the hybrids with the uh, gas and, and the kids were just full of questions watching the um, bucket truck and running on um, his diesel I guess but also the hydraulic system with the electricity that lifted up the van. Everything was fantastic. The ceremony gave me chills. And it just made me want to work so much harder with my STEM group and get them excited because these are the future, this is the future, and they love this, and I'm just excited about making them want more. To the solar panels, and you can work along the edge so they can be in the shade a little bit. They thought this was an incredible event. They were all very excited to be a part of it. We talked about how this is kind of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be a part of it, and they were very, very thrilled that they were chosen to be here. This is your second year being a STEM Academy teacher and you're considering it for next year. What's something that you're going to take back to your class from today's events? How to incorporate this in our everyday lives and really get the kids excited. I mean, to see it at a college level and see those kids excited in sustainability, now to empower younger kids and a younger generation to get involved, I think it'll be exciting. We have the solar panels at school, so I think now it'll mean even more to them and they'll be able to relate to it a lot more. These types of events are a perfect fit for the mission of Duke Energy. Joe, today was an amazing event for our STEM Academy students. Why is it so important for you to partner with Pinellas County Schools? Well, it all begins with education. So um, what we're doing today is teaching the students about renewable energy, and we hope that they start thinking about renewable energy so that as they grow older, hopefully they'll attend a college like USF, and maybe someday become an engineer for Duke Energy. And Duke Energy continues to show their financial commitment to education. At High Point Elementary School, Duke Energy State President Alex Glenn presents a check for over $200,000 to help finance Pinellas County's after-school STEM programs. At the presentation, Glenn meets some of the STEM facilitators and talks to students about their STEM inquiry projects. And I made that circle. And I made the book also. It's incredibly important for Duke to give back to the education community for a couple of reasons. One, the kids are our future. They're our future workforce. They're the future that's going to make Florida competitive in a global economy. And the more skills that they have, whether it's reading, writing, arithmetic, or the STEM academies, it's critically important for us. They're going to be our workforce for the future. The great thing about the STEM academies is that it's hands-on. So kids aren't just reading from a book about math equations or science. They're actually building battery-powered cars. They're actually building catapults. And so they can understand the physics that go behind it and learn when they don't even feel like they're learning. 
it, it really means everything. We wouldn't be here without it. Um, the money that they've given us and the support that they've given us has been great. I mean, the projects that these kids have been able to do and the excitement see from them with all the projects has really been amazing. And just to see how excited, I mean, I'm, I'm so excited about the science and engineering and technology from my background in it. And to see someone else so excited about it. And we were talking about how we wish we had that as kids. And so to have that, it's just really awesome. These after and before school programs are not funded in any way through the state funding formula, so we really do rely on our business partners to provide those resources, in this case near a quarter of a million dollars to supply for after school STEM academies. We like to think and that the same result is wanted from Duke Energy, and that is a very technologically um, proficient, competent student, and so their support of STEM academies is in line with their mission as an energy company, and ours as a school district is to, is to supply a well-trained workforce in the future. So we are trying to plant the seed of many, many students throughout this district to really take on STEM type of occupations and studies in post-secondary education. Thanks again for watching and we'll keep you informed throughout the summer of all the fun activities with STEM that we'll be doing. I'm Laura Spence, and we'll see you next time.